me God. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Adam Fontaine. I am the chief of the POTUS Electoral Commission. Uh, this is my statement for the American people and the Joint Committee on Fair Elections regarding the Rock Party primary election results uh, from uh, Thursday, October 15th, uh, sorry, 2020. Today is Friday, October 16th, 2020. Um, and uh, yeah, last night uh, we were counting the votes for the Rock Party primary and there were some anomalies, uh, specifically the sheer volume of votes that came in for the Rock Party um, uh, were uh, unprecedented. And the, the volume of votes coming in for the nobody candidate, uh, 65% uh, specifically, um, uh, is an unheard of percentage. Um, so it raised a red flag and we realized we had to look into it. Um, what we saw when we looked into the pattern of voting uh, was that uh, the vast majority of votes coming in uh, specifically for the uh, candidate nobody were coming in in the final hours of election day. Uh, granted, it was a four or five day election period. Uh, there's no crime uh, in voting late, uh, but there were other anomalies. In, notably, 453 of these votes uh, all came in from three IP addresses. Uh, so we realized we needed to uh, obviously investigate that a bit more. And we, uh, we have now concluded our investigation. Uh, let me walk you through it um, so that we can lay to rest any concerns and share with this committee and the American people uh, the commission's final ruling on this primary. Um, so bear with me. Uh, if we look at the first of the three IP addresses, um, granted, we've screened some of the digits uh, so that uh, you are not um, going to invade anybody's privacy. <laughs> we wouldn't want that to happen. Um, uh, 51 votes came in from the first of the three addresses. 100% uh, of these votes were single vote ballots for the nobody candidate. Uh, single vote ballot meaning me means uh, they, they, they came in, uh, they just voted for nobody. They didn't rank any other candidates in the Rock Party, and they didn't vote for any other uh, party primaries uh, either. Um, there's nothing illegal about voting this way, but the fact that all of these uh, votes uh, shared that similarity uh, obviously raised some concerns. Um, we spoke with officials in the nobody campaign, however, and uh, they, they said that there was a, a meeting, a public uh, convening happening in South Florida where they knew that many of their voters would be using the same computer. And that does explain why these votes would be coming in with the same uh, IP address. Um, likewise, there was a variety of answers to the residency question, uh, which, which means these were not likely bot votes. These were likely humans who were considering the question, where do you live? And they were answering appropriately. Um, I live in the DC metro area, I live in real America, or I'm a citizen of the world. Uh, there was one vote uh, which selected other and did not provide any other information. That vote has been disqualified because we on the commission uh, have sort of laid this question out there uh, in, in a bit of a trap for, uh, for bad actors. If you don't live in the DC area and you don't live in real America and you're not a citizen of the world, basically we don't want your vote. Um, you're some sort of extraterrestrial alien, maybe uh, beaming in from some other solar system. Maybe you're even a hologram. We, we don't know, but you're not entitled to vote in the POTUS Among Us uh, election. So we did cancel that vote. Um, these votes were coming in real fast as well, which was a concern. The average uh, vote was coming in in under 45 seconds, whereas overall, uh, typically a voter spends about 10 minutes with the POTUS Among Us ballot. Um, this also corresponded with instructions that the uh, Nobody campaign uh, said they had provided to their voters. So a lot of the people who are going to be voting for a hacktivist collective, uh, like uh, the Nobody, um, these are people who are fast uh, with their fingers. They, they click on a lot of things all day long. Uh, and so giving them instructions for how to vote quickly, get in, get out, um, that, that was really playing to the base. Uh, that that the nobody party or sorry the nobody candidacy campaign was uh, trying to trying to achieve uh, trying to capture so uh, again those votes uh, totally legit it would seem 
Uh, moving on to the second of the three IP addresses, uh, let's look here. Um, so at this address, 127 uh, votes came in on the single address. Of those, uh, only 83% were single vote ballots for nobody. So right away, we're seeing a break in, in that concerning trend of uh, everyone voting for just one candidate. Um, there was a wide variety of questions, uh, where do you live? Um, so again, we don't, we don't suspect these were bot votes. Um, there were no uh, responses saying uh, other. So we think that they are all uh, earthlings, uh, which is uh, essentially what qualifies you to vote in the POTUS Among Us election. Um, these were fast votes coming in. Uh, again, uh, uh, over half of them coming in in under 45 seconds. But, uh, but again, um, th these are people who click fast. So we, we cannot prejudge their votes um, simply based on the fact that they're doing it too fast to even think about what they're doing. Um, uh, so we deemed all of these votes also to be legitimate. So um, that's two of the three IP addresses um, checking out essentially uh, when we investigated further, um, uh, leaving, leaving one, leaving uh, the third of the three IP addresses. And, and this is frankly the big one, this is the doozy. Um, so let's uh, take a look here, um, if you will. Uh, yes, the, um, this IP address, uh, 275 votes came in. 100% um, of them were single vote ballots for nobody. Again, single vote ballot meaning selecting nobody in the Rock Party and no other candidates were ranked, second, third, or fourth, et cetera. Uh, and then also making no selections in the other parties, the Paper Party and the Scissors Party also on the same shared open primary ballot. There was no variety again to, uh, to the question, uh, where do you live? Um, everyone was marked uh, as a citizen of the world. Um, the, these votes were fast, uh, extremely fast, uh, under 15 seconds, uh, these votes came in, um, averaging nine or 10 seconds per vote. Um, there were no votes uh, for other as a, resident, as a residency response, again, because they all uh, uh, selected a citizen of the world. Um, but this does eliminate the possibility of extraterrestrials um, uh, trying to infiltrate our systems. So we're confident that that is not what was happening. Uh, we spoke with the Nobody campaign and they shared more of their campaigning practices with us. And we think that those, uh, th those explanations provide uh, clarity as to what happened with these votes. Um, the Nobody campaign used a, a, a website called hack.chat um, to harvest proxy votes for this primary. Uh, proxy votes I know are very controversial. Um, it's when somebody basically indicates to you what their vote is and then you carry that vote forward into the actual balloting process. Um, a lot of people don't like proxy votes. They think they're not American, but they were not specifically outlawed in this primary election. Therefore, we cannot eliminate these votes based on that. Um, the Nobody campaign also posted uh, uh, apparently information about the voting and invitations to participate in threads labeled for laughs and trolling. Um, again, when you look at the nature of the nobody campaign, we're, we're looking at a hacktivist collective, an anonymous hacktivist collective, people who are into trolling and into posting things for laughs are going to be the base for uh, a candidate like nobody. So we think this is essentially them reaching their base effectively. We know that uh, a lot of Americans uh, get concerned when you're looking at things like anonymous hacktivist collectives, but uh, they also have a voice and they have clearly made it heard. Um, uh, when when you come down to it, we're talking about a fundamental American principle here, which is the sanctity of the click. Um, we are confident that every vote um, that came from this IP address uh, did in fact represent the click of somebody who wished to select nobody uh, as their candidate. Um, the way this was achieved was the nobody party collected those votes and then basically tailored them uh, including the names of the voters into a script, uh, which then interfaced with the POTUS Among Us official ballot, um, which is why these votes were able to come in so quickly, nine seconds, 10 seconds, that's much faster than even a pretty fast hacker 
uh, could manage to navigate the POTUS ballot, uh, but the script that they were operating uh, could. And we're actually looking into uh, how the Electoral Commission may, may in future be able to use such scripts um, to make things a little speedier. Um, but in the present, uh, the question is these votes. And we have deemed that these votes are in fact all valid. Um, uh, so uh, there you have it. Um, basically, um, the Rock Party nominee should remain nobody. Um, I wanted to also address, uh, the, there have been some leaked uh, pieces of information from this investigation, uh, specifically uh, uh, some videos uh, documenting the process of uh, Murphy McGrath, uh, our lead investigator on this, and also apparently a memo Ms. McGrath sent to my office um, has been leaked. Um, let me clarify a few things. Uh, there is no geographic uh, area on earth, which is not valid to participate in the POTUS Among Us election. Um, Ms. McGrath had specifically uh, indicated uh, some votes coming in from Farooq College in Thiruchilangadi, India as being suspect. And uh, I wish to apologize on the commission's behalf to those voters. Uh, there is nothing suspect about those votes. Um, they are welcome to participate in our process. Um, uh, likewise, Ms. McGrath referenced, uh, she used the term baddies uh, in, in one of her documentation videos. And I think uh, I can only imagine Ms. McGrath was trying to refer to potential bad actors who may have been using bots or otherwise uh, illegitimate interfaces with our balloting system. Um, there are no baddies in democracy. Uh, again, the sanctity of the click is sacrosanct. So um, if you can click, you can vote, and that is enough for this commission. Um, I hope this clears up uh, any misunderstandings and, and gives people greater confidence in uh, the ability of our democracy to carry us forward into the digital age, which is frankly where we're all going, like it or not. Um, I remain, of course, at the Joint Committee's disposal. Uh, I'll be available at my, at my numbers. You all have ample means to reach me um, or send a car and I'll come down to the Capitol and talk to you all personally. Um, uh, Americans, um, rest assured, democracy is functioning and it's all, it's all gonna work out. Okay, we'll see you in a few weeks at the general election.